Well, good morning, King's Church. Welcome back to Walk the Word. And we are going to be uh, in Mark again today. We're going to be Mark chapter 14 and verse 53. And I'm just going to read that to us. And they led Jesus to the high priest and all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes came together. And Peter had followed him at a distance right into the courtyard of the high priest. And he was sitting with the guards and warming himself at the fire. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but they found none. For many bore false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. And some stood up and bore false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy the temple that is made with hands, and in three days I will build another not made with hands. Yet even about their testimony did not agree. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, Have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But he remained silent and made no answer. Again the high priest asked him, Are you Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am. And you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power, and coming with the clouds of heaven. And the high priest tore his garments and said, What further witness do we need? You have heard his blasphemy. What is your decision? And they all condemned him as deserving death. And some began to spit on him and cover his face and to strike him, saying to him, Prophecy. And the guards received him, received him with blows. And the thing that really strikes me about this passage is the fact that when he's asked, well, are you the son of God? Jesus, are you the son of God? Actually, his answer is very simple. It's very straightforward where he hasn't answered any of the false claims that have been made against him, any of the the, the claims that have no substance. When it comes to the, the claim, are you the son of God? His answer is really simple and straightforward. It's yes. It's yes, I am. And I wonder today what that means for you. What does it mean for you that Jesus is who he says he is? Because the Bible is full of a whole load of different names of God, different things that Jesus is. And I wonder what that means for you today. What would it look like for you to take Jesus at his word and believe and be convinced and live life in the good of him being who he says he is? And so I've just got a number of names of God, things that the Bible says that Jesus is called, that I'm going to read out to us. And as I do that, why don't you just have a think, have a pause, ask God, well, what is it? What what are these things? What are these things is it that you want me to cling hold of today, to grab hold of and to run with uh, today? So Jesus is our saviour. He's our redeemer. He's our bread of life. He is Lord. He is creator. He is son of the living God, the only begotten son. He's the holy one of Israel. He's a wonderful counsellor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings. He's the head of the church, the Almighty One. He's Alpha and Omega. He's a high priest. He's our prophet. He's a teacher. He's Emmanuel, God with us. He's our advocate. He's the chief cornerstone. He's the Lamb of God. He's the Good Shepherd. He's the Word made flesh. He's the fountain of living water. He's the son of man. He's the king of Israel. He's the way, the truth and the light. The image of the invisible God. He is healer. He's restorer. He's the lover of poor. He is the Christ. What would it look like for you today to take just one of those things and to run with it? to believe and be convinced that Jesus is who he says he is. I don't know about you, but my my day would probably look a lot differently if I grabbed hold of those things uh, and ran with them. And amidst 
all the, the noise actually as Jesus is there in front of the or all of the, the chief priests, the rabbis, everyone. Actually there's a moment where he gets to say, I am who you say I am. Yes, I am, amidst all the noise. And in the midst of all the noise of your life today, with all the pressures that might come, with all the stresses and strains of, of work, of family life, of whatever it is that's going on in your day and in your week, will you allow the, the loudest voice to be that of Jesus and to take him at his word and for him to be who he says he is? God, I want to pray, would you help us? Would you help us, Jesus, to take you at your words, to live life, believing and acting on the promise that you are who you say you are. In Jesus' name, amen.